now that our pipes from the top down view are set correctly, the next we're going to do is add in our vertical pipes. The best way to do that is to create a couple section views. To find the section views, you want to be on the View tab. So click on that, then go to Section. And when you draw a section view for the pipes, you want to try to capture every pipe along the way. So starting with the water main over here, next to it, I'm going to click and drag, or not like holding drag, but this hovering drag, a section view that will encompass everything past the sewer main over there. So I'll click once and it's generated that. And to demo it for the other side, I'm going to go to view, section view, and just kind of near that sewer main, I'm going to click and go up past the sewer main, past the sink, so something like that, then I'm going to click down. So what that's going to allow me to do is draw vertical pipes anywhere on this line. So once I put the pipes down, I'm going to have to move them in place, but at least that will give me a good reference on where they need to go. Cool. So let's go ahead, press escape a few times to break out of that, and I want you to scroll down to your sections view which didn't exist until you put these two down. And now that you have, you have it here. So if I open that up, section one is going to refer to the first one we put down, section two, the other. And I'm going to double click on section one. Now right away, you're going to notice that you have a lot of things kind of in the way, kind of like with the first one. So uh, you don't want to accidentally select one of the plumbing fixtures. So starting at the top, I'm going to select everything that I can. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hide in view by category and that's going to hide the majority of the things. I'm going to make sure I'm on a fine view so that I can visibly see the pipes and then things like these doors I'm going to also hide them and if there's anything else you have in your way it's fine just to hide it for now because you need it to be visible. So that's our water heater. This here is the floor so I'm going to hide that And this here is, I believe, the so wall foundation, and this is my larger pipe. So I'm going to hide this one as well. Okay. Now that should be everything, this being our sewer main, and that being all the other pipes in our house. Now in this view, we're going to need a couple vertical pipes to pretty much take care of the water heater. The other things, since they're on another side, we're going to use our other section view to take care of those ones. So heading to systems, go to pipe, and we're going to make sure that we're back to a one inch diameter pipe. And starting somewhere from the water main, I just want you to extend a pipe up vertically from there. And then somehow this is going to provide flow to the water heater and usually it's top down so I'm going to kind of go up vertically press escape go to the side press escape and then go kind of down towards the water heater so it's going to look something like that and that is a one inch pipe just want to double check so it looks something like that and that's all set now let's head over to our other view, section two, and we're gonna approach it the same way by first hiding everything by category, except for the essential piping. So anything related to foundation can go, as well as doors and flooring as well. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. There's our water heater. There's our toilet and our sink. So let's go pipe. And this will be for the water or providing water to it. So I'm going to draw one pipe from there and one pipe to the toilet. And I'm going to adjust the view to fine so we could just see that a little bit better. And for now, that should be okay, but we might add a little bit more later. But let's just start with that. Head back to your ground view, or your ground floor view. 
So we're looking back at the top down and you're going to notice that now on this line where we created the section view, we now have pipes on it. So these are vertical pipes. They might be a little hard to see, but they're on those section view lines. So those are the first ones we added. And then the next ones we added were are over on this side here. And we want them over to where the water heater is. So now what we can do is adjust these pipes a little bit. So I'm going to scale this one back and I'm going to select these ones here and just kind of use the keyboard to kind of tap them up so that they kind of align better like that. I'm going to grab this one as well. Tap that one into place. And then lastly, that one. So if you hold it, it will kind of speed it up a little bit. But it's still going to take a few steps to get that set up. Now we could do the same for the two pipes we created here, or forever how many pipes you created. We're just going to go and get these over to the sink area and to the toilet. Now that most of our pipes are in place, we can start adding some fittings. To add in fittings, I want you to go to the Architecture tab, go to Component, and then Load Family. Scroll down to the Pipe section, click on that, go to Fittings, and then for this project, we're just going to use some generic fittings although you can choose a material type if you'd like. And inside here, you have a bunch of different types of fittings, elbows, tees, transitions, crosses, etc. So you can go ahead and click on these and see what they each look like. I can tell you if you're just connecting two together, like we're gonna connect these corner pieces over here and these ones over here, an elbow will be fine over here and there and there. And we're gonna probably use a T to set that one up. So I'll go grab a generic elbow, and if I zoom in, you're going to notice it's kind of small to begin with, but if you click it to a pipe, it usually conforms to the first pipe you click it to. So if I go over here, oh, or <laughs> I guess this one doesn't conform, which is fine. Let's just make sure the nominal radius is set to a half, and that looks okay. Nominal, let's change it to one, see if that makes it any different. I'm going to click down there. Perfect. And it, I think it did snap into place. So that's connected. And then you're not going to be able to just take it and drag it in. If you try to do that, it's going to error out on you. So just kind of keep that in mind. You can get it relatively close. And then you could select it and kind of just tap it into place to like create that connection over there. So that's been connected. Those will be fine for the moment. We also need to have some elbows over here. Going back to components with my elbow selected. I'm going to go to this one first and click it. And yeah, you can see it expands it there. I won't be able to use that, but here I'll be able to use an elbow. So I'll click there as well. The main thing we're trying to do here is get them to fit. So that there, they're not kind of aligned properly. And all we need them to do is get back to the sink. So you can do whatever you need to do. You know, select them, tap them with the keyboard to adjust them into place. Uh, and the same for this one as well. Just trying to get them to match up. If we need to adjust the piping or whatnot, we can definitely do that to meet the needs of the project. So those ones are good. Let's go ahead and grab that T. Go to Component, Load Family pipe, fittings, generic, and let's just get a generic T. Okay. And if it allows you to snap it nicely, go for it. If it doesn't, then, you know, you'll just have to adapt to the situation. Let's see if I could expand this one out. Okay. Looks like it can, but it doesn't take the T with it. So I'll just kind of tap that down. It's a little bit of a juggling act. Because you can't, like I said, connect it to anything. 
So just kind of finding the good, the best fit is kind of what we're doing here. Okay. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Awesome. 